a step-by-step -step strategy for legal reform. In many Muslim countries, they have laws against homosexuality that have criminalized homosexual behavior. These laws used to exist in the West as well, punishing homosexual behavior and sodomy, but those laws were abolished and step-by-step -step legal reform has taken place to completely transform the legal architecture within these Western countries. To replicate that in the Muslim world requires the same step-by-step -step process. We can understand this as khutuwat is shaitan. When you have uh, khudud, an actual punishment for homosexual behavior in certain Muslim countries, you're not going to be able to change that overnight. So you have to focus on less controversial issues. So the first step is to abolish hudud. What Western powers and NGOs already recognize is that some Muslims are already uncomfortable with the idea of hudud. They have, through years and decades of programming, been conditioned to see hudud in the Western lens as something that is barbaric. So they've been already primed as a public to be for the abolishing of hudud. That means that that step is almost complete in many parts of the Muslim world and we hear every day of other countries that want to get rid of these kinds of punishments from the legal system. Once the hudud are abolished, then you can decriminalize homosexual behavior completely. That's the next step and the US government and the EU has been pushing sanctions on any country that has criminalized homosexuality and homosexual behavior. So there is already pressure in this second step to completely decriminalize these things. The next step is to legalize their social spaces. So gay clubs, gay bars, these should be allowed legally to function and to not be closed down by governmental authorities. Fourth, create a protected legal status. This means a person who identifies as LGBT will get certain protections under the law that protects against any kind of harassment or any kind of perceived abuse or harm. One of the bigger steps is to legalize gay marriage. And this will require a lot of challenges in the legal system, but activists have been working hard to change the culture over all these years to normalize and to desensitize. And again, the argument that will be made is that yes, homosexual behavior is haram, but people should have the right to marry whoever they want and to prevent them from marrying whoever they want is a type of discrimination. They will really push this point in order to change the law in Muslim countries to actually legalize gay marriage and Western countries will no doubt uh, push very hard for these kinds of reforms. The sixth step is to actually introduce hate speech laws. Now you have to criminalize those who speak against LGBT. This has happened in many countries. It's actually something that hasn't happened in the US as of yet because of the First Amendment protections that flimsily protect certain kinds of critique. But in many countries like Canada, like the UK, like in South Africa, like even Australia, there are hate speech laws that can criminalize anyone who teaches against homosexuality or L any aspect of LGBT. So by this point in the legal process, things have really changed massively. And you, now you get to the point where you make LGBT education part of the schooling curriculum, where children are now going to school at the ages of four, five, and six, and it is mandatory for them to be introduced to LGBT ideology and the idea that love is love, there's no problem with a man and a man getting together, or a woman and a woman, or if you're a boy, you transition to a girl or vice versa. This is now part of the curriculum. Once you have that change, then it's really easy to require things like gender neutral bathrooms. Basically, you dissolve any conception of gender separation. You make sure that every space can include men and women. You also require people to change their language. If a person has preferred pronouns, you make it a legal requirement to respect 
that pronoun usage. Next step, you have to put more controls on parents and the parents' right to opt out of the LGBT curriculum in school. And also, if a child decides because of his LGBT education in school to change his gender, then you criminalize the ability of the parent to take the child out of that, preventing a child from hormone therapy and transitioning from one gender to the other is categorized as child abuse. Finally, you remove all other legal restrictions and you make it illegal to in any way discriminate against LGBT, whether it's in your employment practices, whether it's with how you teach within your religious schools or your masajid, you criminalize anything that opposes the LGBT ideology, and then the full legal transformation is complete. Following this plan, the Muslim world can be transformed in just 10 years or 20 years max. Have you noticed these steps being implemented in your country? Who are the main politicians, the main religious figures, the main actors and media personalities, the main academics that are pushing this? Knowing the plan is the first step in countering the plan. They plan and Allah plans and Allah is the best of planners. Allahu al-musta'an.